Hello everybody, I hope you are great. We continue reading the book There Was No Such a Name on the List by Boris Vasilyev, part 38. Kolya was going to the distant countries for the first time in his life. So far his travels were limited by the city border itself, where the military school was located. But even 12 hours of driving couldn't be compared with the route on which he was moving on that hot Saturday of May. And it was so interesting and so important that Kolya didn't move away from the window. And uh, when he was completely exhausted, he sat down on a bank. Then somebody shouted, Storks! Look! Storks! Everyone rushed to the windows, but Kolya was paused a little bit and he didn't see the storks. However, he wasn't upset at all, because if the storks had once appeared, it meant that sooner or later he would definitely see them again. And he would write to Moscow what kind they were, those white, white storks. They were already behind the village Negarel, beyond the old border, and now were traveling across western Belarus. The train often stopped at small stations, where there were always a lot of people. White shirts were mixed with black jackets, straw hats with bowlers, duck neck scarves with light dresses. Kolya went out at small stations, but he didn't go away from the train car, and he was stunned by the ringing mixture of Belarusian, Jewish, Russian, Polish, Lithuanian, Ukrainian, and God knows what other languages and accents. Well, what a crowd, the laughing senior lieutenant from the next bank said in a surprise. Here, Kolya, you need to buy clocks. The guys said it's a crazy amount of clocks here. And everything is cheap. Well, that's it for today. Many thanks for being with me. Goodbye.